Uh, you on? Huh? You on? All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakak, Badash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, citation to the hope for the elect scattered throughout the four corners, pushing his word and truth and sincerity, okay? Um, right now, I want to get into um, the topic of um, taking wise counsel, man, because in this society, you got, you know, everybody want to be, you know, leaders, but don't nobody want to follow. Sometimes in order to lead, you got to learn to follow, okay? And at the same time, in order to, you know, get answers for, for certain things, you need, to, you need to take wise counsel, man. The scriptures tell you don't lean on to your own understanding, okay? That's why the apostles and elders were set up in the society for the younger brothers to seek wise counsel on any type of matter. So bring that one on. This is um, Isaiah 30 and verse 1. And it reads, Woe to the rebellious children. That's right, man. It says, Woe to the rebellious children. Woe meaning destruction, man. And who's the rebellious children, man? The, the rebellious children are the two thirds of Israel, man. Okay? How are they rebellious? Because they come up against you. How about Shemnel Shai? Okay? They rebel. Okay? They're against the laws, statutes, and commandments. They don't seek the most high. Okay? They don't want to live according to the scriptures and truth and sincerity. So they're deemed rebellious children, man. They're always rebelling against, the, you know, the prophets of the Most High. Go on. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, said Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. That's right, man. They take counsel, but not the counsel of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, okay? they rather go to the white man, Esau, to go for help. Instead of coming out to the prophets on that matter, man, okay? Asking them, hey, hey, what, like, how should we deal with this matter? Because this book, the scriptures, man, is considered, you know, taking counsel because the scriptures is known as the comforter, man, okay? So, the the Mosai has blessed his, um, his men with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on how to, you know, just maneuver in the society, man, okay? So, the rebellious children who are the two-thirds, they rather go take counsel from Esau up in the courts or wherever, man, okay? It says that they may add sin to sin. That's right, man. They, they, they continue to add sin upon sin upon sin because they're like, hey, wait a minute. If we go to the prophets, I can't pop another man's woman? What? Are you crazy? Oh, I got to eat shrimp and pork and duck and rats and shit? Man, I got to keep the high holy days? That's why they continue to add sin upon sin because they don't want to seek wise counsel. They don't want to live right according to the law, statutes, and commandments. That's, the, that's the counsel. You know, like we have a, um, a discrepancy of a matter, we revert back to the scripture. You know, that's why the Lord said, you know, have a counsel because when, when you go to the scripture, you're, you're dealing with counsel. That's the main counsel you've got. Yeah. Verse 2. Now walk down, it's like that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. That's right, like the, um, the, you know, like what the brother was just saying, man, okay? They rather go to the courts and ask them, okay, you know, I need help raising my kid or what, whatever we should do for whatever matter, okay? Instead of going to um, the prophets, if you're among um, brethren, whatever quarrel that you have with each other, you go to the elders or the apostles and you seek wise counsel and they'll tell you how to deal with the matter, okay? Every life situation that we've been in, man, the apostles and elders have already been through that, so they've gained the wisdom and how to give us wise counsel on, on how to deal with the matter. Oh, you got something for you. this is the book of First Corinthians, chapter six. This, verse... out, this out of the New Testament for the New Testy junkies. <laughs> this is First Corinthians, chapter six, verse one. Dare any of you having a matter against another go to yeah, the law? So, the first have the scripture. See, with you know, go ahead. Dare any of you having a matter against another? Go to the law before the unjust and not before the saints? Right, the saints is the brotherhood. The bro the bro the men that's um that's in the faith of Yahweh Yahweh Shah. So they told to brothers that's in the faith, you have a discrepancy, you know, you bring that discrepancy before the brotherhood and you're gonna counsel and they're gonna judge according to the scripture. We have other you have other situations where guys they go to Esau's court. Instead of before going to a brother and working it out, go on Esau's court, go on Judge's court. Go ahead. Do ye not know 
that the saints that's shall why, judge. I'm sorry, that's why it's the law is unjust because Esau's um, court system doesn't um, judge under the laws of the Most High. So the Most High see that as um, unrighteous or unjust. Do ye not know that the saints that the saints shall judge the world? Yeah, man, because who are the saints? The one third, the elect of Israel, okay? The Allahayim. We're going to rule and judge. Everything in existence on the rulership of your house by Shem So why right. would you rather go to Esau, who was the lowest of the low? And the only reason why Esau is in power right now because the Most High put him in that position, man. What the scriptures tell you, Esau is the end of the world, but Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Because Esau's rulership is coming to an end, man. That's right. I got something for you to back up the council. Mm -hmm. This is Proverbs 11 and 14. Oh, yeah, this is Proverbs 11 and 14. Where no counsel is, the people fall. That's that's right. Where there's no counsel, the people fall. Yep. Who are the people? The nation of Israel, man. Okay, because we need to have wise counsel. Without wise counsel, we're going to fall, man. Right. Okay, look what happened. Um, you know, when you read the uh the story, I believe his name is um Jeroboam, or was it um Jeroboam? Jeroboam. Um, Jeroboam, right? He didn't want to seek the wise counsel of the elder men that was um, serving when his father was ruling, but instead he wanted to take counsel of the younger men who ain't, of the younger men that he grew up with that ain't really know how to, that didn't have, that didn't have the proper wisdom as um, the elder counsels that was serving under his father. So when he went to listen to the younger, the younger men, yeah. everything just went to shits, man. That's right. It says, but in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. That's right. And how was it safety? Because the Most High has gave the, 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 the zeal according to knowledge, the wisdom and understanding to his men, his prophets, on how to give you wise counsel according to the scriptures. Now, not according to how we feel. Fuck how we feel, how we feel don't matter. It's about the scriptures. You gotta leave your emotions out of this, man. And that's the problem with Jake and his society. They so freaking pacify it. Yeah. And 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 then that's and see and that's the problem with the churches, man. The churches like to speak smooth things, man. What did Paul say? But though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge. That's right. So you come up against the prophets because they give you the truth too harsh for you. We gotta use that inside voice. The scriptures tell you to um lift up that voice. To lift up that voice like a trumpet, man. We're supposed to speak loudly. We're based in our voice. We're men. Okay? So Continuing that? That was it. That, that was it? I got something real quick. Let me go back to that. Now, this is Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes Sirach 6 and 6. Be in peace with many, nevertheless, have but one counselor of a thousand. Mm. Mm. Says, so be in peace with many, nevertheless, have but one counselor of a thousand. Because um, what ended up happening is a person will seek counsel for a certain matter and you know, a wrong brother may tell him something. He don't like it. Like, nah, yeah. it doesn't fit what you really want to do. They'll keep asking like ten people, a yeah. hundred people, until you hear to what you want to hear. What this person said this, but you got a hundred of the same answers mm -hmm. because usually the first answer that you get is it's the, the right word. one. Yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's, it's the right one. But you know, going back to emotion and a person having their own motive, they'll keep asking, going for seek counsel, keep seeking counsel, just so they can hear what they want to hear. I read it one more time. It says, "Be." This is about six. It says, "Be in peace with many. Nevertheless, have a one council of a thousand." Uh -huh, that's it. Back in the book of First uh, Corinthians, chapter six, verse two. Do ye know not, Salakia? Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? That's right. The saints, man. The saints are the elect of the high by Shimon Yahushua. We're going to judge the world and everything in existence because. That was the promise that the Most High made unto our forefathers, man. And the Most High got a power that he should lie. Okay? The Most High's word is bond, man. And if the and if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Yeah. So if you, being a um, um, part of the saints, if you can't judge the small matter, wait, we don't over here. And if the world shall be judged by you. Are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Yeah, if you can't maneuver in a society and judge in righteousness, right? In judge in righteousness, what makes you think that you can um, go to Esau 
when the scriptures tell you um he be born speaking lies from birth man okay so if you can't judge little matters yeah. being in, in yeah. being, it's like go finish this point change your statement out and yeah, if, if 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 you can't judge amongst the brotherhood and all in um in small <laughs> matters man wait and how like how do you think you'll be able to set up to um to um judge all uh, the world man it's just considered a small matter through like little things but what we're going through right now is a small matter but it's more compared to you know judging, judging everything world. in mm -hmm. existence man because yeah. scripture goes on to say we're going to be judging angels other words telling angels what to do so how much more something small just just like when um when the most high had um asked solomon like what he right, wanted solomon prayed um just for more wisdom so he can judge righteously man and the most high blessed him with what he wanted and things that he didn't ask for okay solomon it's it's not like when you're in these churches you know these, these women are praying lord send me a good man you know or let me win this lotto ticket you know vain wicked ass things man solomon said you know yahweh you know baba kusha could you bless me with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to rule over your people, which is also my people, in righteousness, man. That's right, I got something real quick. This is Sirach or Ecclesiasticus 5 and verse 15. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. That's right, because being ignorant is meaning you don't know what's going on, okay? But that's why the, the Most High says, seek ye the kingdom first. So if you're seeking the Most High, you won't be ignorant because you're going to be in tune with the scriptures, man. You're going to be keeping up with the current events of what's going on, so you can't be ignorant. So that way, when you're not ignorant, you know what's going on. You know how to give counsel. You know how to move, and you know how to maneuver in the society, man. Read it again. This is Sirach, 5 and verse 15. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. That's right. No matter how big the situation, no matter how small it is, whether you guys have a, a quarrel over like $5, yeah. or no matter if it's a, 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 like a big like a big situation where, hey, you know, somebody's life could be at risk. Yeah. Big or small, yeah. be not ignorant. Yeah. You have to remain spiritual, man. You, you, you can't put your feelings and emotions in just because that's not what this thing is about. That was the point. Back to the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter uh, 6, verse 3. Know ye not that we shall judge angels? That's right. We're going to judge angels, man. Uh, angels that are doing the Lord's bidding right now. Okay, right now we don't have that power because we're still under um, the curses, okay? And the angels, oh man, the angels are on a whole different level, man. Okay, especially even the archangels. But once the Most High redeem us back in the kingdom, we're going to rule over them, man. Okay? How much more things that pertain to this life? That's right. You know, this life we're living right now in this society is full of nothing but wickedness. Okay? But that's why you got to just continue to read the scriptures so you know how to live, man. And living, meaning living, trying to seek your heart by Hashem Yahushua, not living after your own vain glory. That's not living. That's you living in darkness. If then ye have judgments of things pertaining to this life, set them to judge who are least esteemed in the church yeah you know so hey man everything boils down to you gotta you gotta always um go back to the scriptures that's the only way you're gonna know how to really um uh, um judge and give um wise on um, counsel and advice man that's right this is proverbs 1 and verse 1 the proverbs of solomon the son of david king of israel to know wisdom and instruction to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity, to give some some subtlety to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discussion. Yeah, man, it's said to give subtlety, subtlety to the simple and the young men. Who are the young men? The younger brothers that's been coming in the truth, okay? Because in order um, to have wisdom, you would have have to been in this thing for a period of time. You gain wisdom through experience. You don't just come in and say, yeah, I have wisdom. No, man. Gain wisdom going through a situation. Going through. 2 Timothy 3 and 15. You gain wisdom by going through a certain situation more than once. So that way you so that way you say, you know what? If, if I go through it again, I know exactly what to do. I'm not going to go left. I'm going to go right. And just bust a U-turn, man. I'm not going right. to just keep going left, 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 left. 
Okay? That's what it, uh, what they call definition of insanity. Yeah. Just somebody keeps yeah. doing the same thing, expecting Expect a different outcome. Yep. Just, yep. just getting the same results, man. Yep. That's why wisdom is important. Now our people, our people have the zeal, okay, the urge to seek wisdom and understanding, but they don't have it according to knowledge, man. Yep. Cause they up in these damn churches on um just drunk off all these different philosophies, man, worshiping everything under the sun, even the sun, except the how about shooting was shot, man. This is 2 Timothy 3 and verse 16. It says, All scripture is given by inspiration of the most high. 15. 15. Oh, 15. Oh, Salaki. Oh, that's right. it. As a child? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Salaki. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. I had it highlighted. That's what we put Salaki. When I said, um, Learn from Winston. Oh, 14. Yeah, yeah. So the 14? Yes, yeah, okay. This is um, 2 Timothy 2 and um, 3 and verse 14. But continue down the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of known of whom thou hast learned them. That's right, because for you know I, I can speak I can say this I can say this for all the Aki men. When we came in this truth, we learned from the um from the apostles, man. We learned from the apostles, so it says continue. Read it again. It says, but continue down the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of known of whom. God has learned them. That's right. So the more years that we've been in this thing, pushing and striving and serving the most high, we gotta always remember who do we learn this from, man? Okay, we learn it from the apostles and the elders, and we gotta continue to um just continue to grow and learn, man, and not, and that's why we give double honors to the apostles and elders, man. Because sure. we learn it from them, so we continue in their way of learning when it comes to this truth. Yep. Verse 15, and that from a child. That has known the Holy Scriptures. That's right, from a child, because when we all come in this thing, we're kids. It don't matter if you was 25, 27, 30, 35, you come in this truth, you a baby. Yeah. Alright, you a baby, because now you have to learn how to crawl all over again, the milk scriptures. You gotta learn how to speed walk and walk. You gotta learn to grow in this thing, man. That's what it means to be born again. You know, start up, start all over again, you know, flush out the things that you learn in the world. Yeah, you're, you're basically unlearning the wickedness you've learned in this society, man. And you're learning the truth now, man. Okay, the truth meaning knowing who you are. You're not a so-called Jamaican, a so-called um, uh, Mexican, a so-called African. What the, what the hell is African-American, man? That doesn't make no sense, man. Okay, you're from the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Issachar, Naphtali, Zebulon, Asher, your biblical names, man. Okay, so you learn who you are. You learn who your power is. Okay, and then you just you just grow from there, man. Keep going. It says, "But you're able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith." The subject matter was the scriptures. Yeah. So uh, you, the way you become wise. Shalom. Read that part again. Um, uh, 15. It says, "And that from a child, thou has known the holy scriptures." So that's the subject matter, the scriptures. Go yeah. ahead. Which are able to make thee wise. So you become wise through the scriptures. Huh. That's cause that's where um, real wisdom come from. Yep. You know, cause a lot of a lot of people got this idea. If I take these high learning classes, go to school, get my graduates, then I'm gonna become more wiser. That's the wisdom of the world. But the wisdom, the wisdom of the Most High is infinity. You know, so the, the Most High see wisdom going back first, returning back to Him, because wisdom period comes from the Most High. Yep. It says, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. That's right, man, through faith. Okay, faith without works is dead. They go hand in hand. You gotta have faith in Yahweh Shah. Okay, faith is a, is a, is a, what did it say, um, faith? It's, it's a substance of, of, of the hope for, the evidence of things that we can't, you know, see. We, we, can't, we can't physically see the kingdom. We can't physically, we can't physically see Yahweh where Yahweh shine, but through faith and through the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, we know it's real. We know the Most High is real, okay? Because look at everything that has happened, all the prophecies, man, and the chip is here. The chip is here. We just wait for that. We just wait for the chip to be mandatory, man. Okay? And it's very real quick, because like the scriptures say, it said um, the, um, the subject matter is, is the scriptures, man. Yeah, yeah. It's made, able to make us wise through faith. Exactly, so you gotta man. have that access of faith to be able to even obtain this knowledge. Right. This is a gift. Because the ones without faith is impossible to please the most that's, that's right. That's you know? right. So you ain't, ain't, without having that faith and the fear of the Lord, we ain't gonna be able to access this knowledge. Exactly. And that's a part of being humble, coming in as a child. That's right. Again, you know? And and, 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 even, and even if you 
was to keep some of the law, statutes, and commandments. Yeah. If you're not doing it um, out of faith, then you're doing it um, just to be vain, man. You you have yeah. some people who can who can who, who can grow bad, yeah. you know, and not commit adultery and not do certain things, but they're not doing it to please the most time. Yeah. They're not doing it having faith. So you know what? If I keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of my abilities. I'm doing it out of faith to, you know, please the most high. Some people just do it just to do it, man. Yep. But you, you have to have faith, man. Yep. Verse 16, it says, All scripture is given by inspiration of the most high. All scriptures, the Old Testament and the New Testament. A lot of things in the Old Testament is repeated in the New Testament, man. That's why it said all scriptures, not just some scriptures. That's why when you read, the, the scriptures tell you, man, precept upon precept. Hear a little, zero a little, line upon line, because you can't just read the Bible, the gospel, the good news, the comforter, like a regular storybook. No. You got to jump into different um, books to understand one line, man. Okay? That's right. It says, and it's, prof it's, like it, and, and it's profitable for doctrine. That's right. It's profitable, it's profitable for teaching, man. Yeah. Okay? Teaching. This book is about our past, our present, and the future to come, man. Okay? We, 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 we read the scriptures and hear the stories of the wonders that our forefathers did, man. Okay? One of my favorite um, scenes in the story was when King David um, killed Goliath, man. Okay? King David was like, yo, who's this uncircumcised dog. dog, yo? Does he not know who my power is? When I read that, I, I was hyped. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay? And you, you just... You just, have, you just have to picture it, man. Yep. Okay, just, just picture it, man. So we read about the histories of, of our forefathers to try and follow in their way to live in this society, okay? We read to keep up on the current events of what's going on, man. The scriptures tell you there shall be war, rumors against war, and earthquakes in diverse places, man. Has that not been happening? Are we not in the spirit of World War Three? Okay? It says... For reproof and correction. Yeah, for reproof and correction, man. Okay? A lot of times when you know the, the scriptures tell you a righteous man falling seven times. Yeah. But that's okay. As long as the longest um you yeah, repent, back. you know, you repent in truth and sincerity, okay, and sometimes you have a, a, another brother that might reprove you and correct you on your mistakes, man. Okay? Because you don't want the <laughs> you don't want the most high correcting you, man. It's yeah. not gonna be pretty. Alright? But that's why the Most High uses his men um, before he gets to you, man. That's the Most High showing you mercy. Seeing that you're fucking up. He said, you know what? I'm going to put the spirit on one of my men or some of my men to go and reprove you and correct you. Because the Most High put his hands on you. You ain't going to like it, man. You know? It says, for proof, for, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Yeah, for instruction, man. That, and what are the instructions? The law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? But you know, Jake two-thirds of our people, they don't want to follow the instructions, man. Okay? They're part of that rebellious generation, man. That's what you know? It says that the man of the Most High may be perfect, thoroughly furnished into all good works. Yeah, just keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your abilities, having faith, man, knowing why you're doing it. You're doing it to please Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shai. We're not doing this for us per se, we're doing this more for the most high. Yeah, we're doing it because the scriptures tell you seek out your own salvation. We're doing it because we want to be saved. We call ourselves the hope for the elect. But ultimately, the scripture says, fear the most high and keep his commandments. So we're doing this for the most high. It says, it says, present your body as a living sacrifice. And that's why we're out here on the highways and byways every weekend. Lord willing, we continue to do that, man. We're doing this for the most high. Didn't your house shine sacrifice himself for us? So you're telling me you can't come out and do the work on a Saturday for like four, maybe five hours, one day after week? Huh? Yeah, 10 o'clock at night. Right, right, yeah. right, okay? But you could slave for Esau, right? You could slave for Esau doing 16 hour shifts back to back to back to back, and you still broke, man, okay? You can't take 10 minutes out of 24 hours in one day to put up a show? 10 minutes? Come on, man. Matthew 32 and 52. Then said he unto them, Therefore every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is likened to a man that is a householder, 
which bringeth forth out of his treasure things new and old. Yep. So why you break it down? Oh yeah, going into the Old and the New Testament, all right? Mm -hmm. So the scripture said, Old Scripture is, um, the scripture I just read, oh, let me read it again real quick. It says, all scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High, going into the Old Testament and the New Testament, all right? That's that goodly thing, that's the good treasures, all right? This is, this is the um, book of life, you know? Living waters, you know? So that, that's basically what it's about, you know? This book gives you instruction, all right? Um, our history, our past, our future, where we going, who we are as a people. No, we the judges of the earth. That's, what this, that's the goodly treasures, all right? It says old and new, all right? Going into the Old Testament and the New Testament. So the whole Bible is fit for our instruction and reproof. You know? What's the, um, the kingdom of heaven? Oh, the kingdom of heaven is, yeah. is, first of all, the kingdom of heaven is us. It starts with us, all right? Because the Lord said the kingdom of heaven is. Well, it starts with the word. The word, yeah. Also the kingdom. So yeah. like it does. So like, you got it? Yeah, it the knowledge. With us, yeah. yeah, you know, with the kingdom. Yeah, the knowledge, which is the understanding, you know, that was given unto the Israelites, starting with the men, you know? Right. Uh, Proverbs eight and ten. Yeah, says, because oh. as 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 the, as the topic is, you know, seeking uh, um, wise counsel, and and, and 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 we obtain the knowledge to have wise counsel through the scriptures, man, the word. Mm -hmm. yeah. It says uh, Proverbs eight and ten. It says, receive my instruction and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. Hey, so what are we going into, man? Uh, you know. The, the precious metals of the world, you know, hey, that the Most High and the Son created, you know, hey, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding is above that. You see, this, this is what we, uh, what we're receiving, you know, the, the most that's the commandments, this, which is our true ways, you know, right. you know, this is how we're supposed to uh, conduct ourselves on the earth, you know, we, we're receiving the words of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah through the man that they set up, the apostles, okay? But the, the Lord took his word so serious that he, he put his word before himself. Uh, that's how that's how um Sirius Musa um take his word. He put him before himself. And um Mosa is pretty much suffering all the wickedness that happening, but he's bound by his own word. Mosa first of all the Lord says he's not a man that he's alive. So if it was written, the Mosa he's bound by his own words. And it says for wisdom is better than rubies. That's right, man, rubies. They're all cages. This is summing up um treasures, man. Every, 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 you know, you know, men, you know, women, people, you know, like Israel, man. Like we like to be blinged out and flashy, man. We, we like to have the finest of the finest things. But this word is 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 is, is better than yeah. This, this word is better than anything that you could put on, any type of treasure, man. It's more valuable yeah, than anything on earth. Because you have a lot of people on this earth who seek the understanding of the scriptures, man. They could read one line over and over and over for like five, 10 years and never understand it, man. Right. And I could let them bug out and lose their mind, okay? <clears throat> okay, a lot of people um, kill for this word, man. So the most I was telling you, nothing comes close to this word. Nothing is more precious than the word that he's given us, man. That's right. That's why the most I reference it as treasure because everybody doesn't have access to um, abundance of 24k um, gold and silver, pure gold. Just like everyone doesn't have access to the, this word, the understanding of the word. There's people that will wish to understand, you know, just the fact that it, the breakdown where it is for like, but it, you know, the most I didn't give it to everybody. Yeah, that's 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 what makes it more precious. It's good to say that, man, because in, in these perilous times, you know, wisdom and knowledge is really our time. That's right. Oh, so, you're so, hey, we we're, we're in a good season. Yeah, because you know, in the in the in the latter end, when Jacob's trouble come, you know, you need to have um, wisdom and knowledge to know what you gotta do. The scriptures tell us what we gotta do in those times. It's just trusting the Most High, man. It should be okay. at that time. Yeah, you, you got people. Um, setting up under bunkers or preparing for doomsday, um, just having just just throwing up food and not knowing all that food you're racking up is going to be for the men of the Lord. So, to water. <laughs> it says, oh, it's a little more, sorry. It says, uh, back in Proverbs 8 and 11, it says, For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not compared, oh. not to be compared to it. Yeah, so anything you desire, any, anything your heart desires, 
whether it's money, bitches, cars, fame, don't compare to having wisdom, man. <clears throat> because you can have all of that and not have wisdom. But you can have wisdom and everything else follows on it. That's why when Solomon asked the Most High to grant him wisdom that he may judge the nations in truth and sincerity, man. And the Most High gave him that and a hundredfold more, man. Like I said, this is because what you say, um, wisdom trump all that, all the desires of men's heart. Yeah. And this is Solomon saying this. This is wisdom of Solomon 6, Shalom. That's what's up. This is wisdom of Solomon 6 and 21. And it reads, if your delight, de I, I'm gonna start at 20. It says, therefore the desire of wisdom bring up to a kingdom. Verse 21, if your delight be then in thrones and skeptics, O ye kings of the people, on the wisdom that you may reign forevermore. And you see, that's the Lord, that's your house shot speaking. And the Lord know our desires as men. We wanna be, we wanna rule, we wanna be on top, all right? And the Lord said, that's your desire. He said, on the wisdom that you may reign evermore. Meaning what? Put this word before anything, all right? Do the, do the, do the Lord's business, do the Father's business. Put that first and you gonna get that. The same way Solomon in his dream, he's asked for wisdom to rule his people. And what the Lord gave him, he gave him that and everything more. All right? Yeah, yeah, I got it right here. Matthew 6 and um, 33. It says, But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High, and this, I'm sorry, and his righteousness, and all these things should be added.